Stake is a very easy to follow and beginner friendly platform. No matter how little experience you have when it comes to investing, anybody can get started using Stake. It lets you buy and sell stocks with zero fees and if you follow all the steps in this video, you'll get a free share in either GoPro, Dropbox or Nike and currently the Nike stock is valued at $109. US dollars. So I'll be showing you everything you need to know about Stake from setting up an account to making your first investment. So to get started with the Stake platform, make sure to download the app either from the Google Play or the App Store or you can just log in to their website as well. So when you're signing up to the platform, it's going to ask you all the regular pieces of info like your email address, phone number and date of birth and then you'll also get asked some extra legal pieces of info as well like your IRD number and then a proof of identity, either your driver's license or your passport number as well. Once this is all verified you'll be nice and ready with a stake account and then you can start making some investments. Make sure when you're setting up your profile to enter the referral link down below in the description box to make sure you get your free stock and don't miss out on some free money when you're signing up to stake. So I'll jump onto stake and actually give you a step-by-step -step guide of all the steps you need to follow in order to actually buy some shares of a company. So I'll be investing in the growth stock test to illustrate this example. This is what the home screen of Stake will look like once you actually sign up to the platform. So you can see here it's got my equities and the types of companies that I've invested in. So I've just got the ARK Revolution ETF and some shares of Tesla. So up the top here you click on the little search icon to actually look up the company that you're wanting to invest in. Before you actually start making some investments you're going to need to top up your account. So the way you do this is by clicking on the money icon and then you click on add funds. When it comes to stake the main way that you top up your account is with a bank transfer. Every stake account gets a unique account number where you send your funds to and this is done exactly the same as transferring someone using internet banking. There's also an instant trade option which incurs a 0.5% fee to make sure your funds hit your account as fast as possible. With stake you get charged a flat fee of 1% when you're depositing or withdrawing funds so if you say wanted to invest $1,000 using stake you would get charged $6.25 USD. That would add up to about $10 NZD and if you were topping up 2,500 New Zealand dollars you'd pay about $25 New Zealand in fees and then you would also be charged a 1% fee when you are selling your shares and withdrawing money into your account. So now that your account is all topped up, you want to actually search for the company that you're wanting to invest in. So you click on the search icon again in the top right hand side of the screen and then search for the company that you're wanting to invest in. So we're going to be buying some shares of Tesla. So I'll type that in up the top here and you can see it pop up now. So then it'll bring up this graph which will show you the price movements of Tesla across different time periods. So when you click on it, you can also have a candlestick option for it too if you're more into a day trading side of things. So you can look at this over one day, one month or even three months or three years as well to get a bit more of an idea of the different price movements that the stock has had. And then if you scroll down a bit you can also look at different numerical pieces of info like the open high and low, the 52 week high and low, the market cap and of course the PE ratio as well. And then if you're going to the different buying options for the company you can do a limit buy order which is when you set a specific price that you want the shares to be purchased at. So if you thought that Tesla was going to consistently increase in value and go from $708 maybe up to $750 then you could pop in $750 USD right here if you think that's what the price will go up to and then click on the number of shares that you want to buy. So with the limit buy order you have to actually buy a whole share of the business as opposed to a market buy order which is when you're buying the shares of the company at that set price. So you would be buying Tesla at its 708 USD price that it currently is trading at now. And the good part about a market buy order is that you can actually buy fractional amounts of a company. So if you only wanted to buy 0.1 of a share then you could do that as well and then all you would do is click on review buy order here in the middle of the screen and then the shares will be purchased for you. So then you can also look at the news for that particular business if you want to refresh yourself on what's currently happening and then down the bottom here it also has analyst ratings and some financial ratings as well. These financial pieces of info are restricted to Stake Black users which is Stake's premium service which is a paid subscription and for this it's about 90 USD a month or 142 New Zealand dollars or there's also 
also a monthly billing option which is $7.50 a month USD or $11.80 NZD and this allows you to instantly buy and sell shares with no processing time and gives you access to those sweet financial analyst ratings which can help improve the quality of your investments. If you're wanting to withdraw your funds from stake you just click on this icon here and then you have to put in a nominated account which you want your money to be sent to when you're selling your shares. So if you click on your profile in the top right hand side of the screen you can pop in the selected account number where you want your money to be sent to. It also has a tax documents part to this screen as well where you can look at account statements, transaction reports and trade confirmations so you have all the necessary info in order to properly declare tax on your investments. When it comes to actually declaring tax on any investments made through stake there's only two criteria that affect New Zealand investors. The first one is if you get a dividend payout of 200 NZD from a dividend yielding company or if you have $50,000 of cash invested in an overseas company. So any company that's not based in New Zealand and therefore any business that you invest in on stake will fall into this overseas category. And this is $50,000 in cash, not total portfolio value. If you invest $20,000 into Apple and now your portfolio is sitting at 60,000 New Zealand dollars, then that doesn't mean you need to declare tax on it. It's only if you say invested $50,000 cash or more is when you have to actually look into doing some paperwork of your own. It's always best to get the advice of a tax advisor with these kinds of things to make sure you're actually getting all your paperwork sorted out. But for the vast majority of people, up to 90% or more of individuals that invest, they never actually have to do any paperwork of their own. Stake also has the option to directly transfer any funds that you have with another broker like Hatch directly to the platform. This process takes about two to six weeks to fully complete and you can check it out more over on the Stake website and I'll leave it linked down below in the description box. Now that you're familiar with Stake, I don't know if it's really going to be the best broker for you because there's many other brokers that New Zealand investors can use like Hatch and Sharesies and if you want to see a complete breakdown of the pros and cons of these different platforms then check out this video on screen. There's some key features that you need to be aware of so you can make an informed decision about which broker is the best for you because all these platforms have their own unique benefits that make them better or worse than others depending on what style of investing that you want to do.